What's going on guys? Happy Sunday, here in Texas anyway. It's Cinco de Mayo, so what better way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Gym and Mexican food. Firstly, we're at Destination Gym, your second home, my second home, our second home. We're gonna pump some shoulders, then we're off to Rock and Brews. Sports bar, they're gonna have ice hockey, they're gonna have Mexican food. Let's do it guys, I'm looking forward to it. And what a day, look at this weather. How good. Happy Cinco de Mayo guys. As you can probably tell, I'm in a good mood today. So why not add some double scoop caffeine and make it even better? And then start with my favorite shoulder machine. Five sets, 10 to 12 reps, lateral raises. And then the standing shoulder press. Man, I love this thing. Five sets of 10 and I'm pumped. Now it's time for some cables. Rear delt fly, supersetter with upright row. My shoulders were pumped by this point. I got in five sets of 12 each. Before finishing off with five sets of hammer curls, superset with tricep pushdowns. What a workout. I was super efficient today and I'm feeling good. All right guys, the gym is done. Man, if it's possible, the weather is better than before. Check it out. What a day. So now we're off to Rock and Brews at a place, a city called The Colony. We're gonna go smash some Mexican food for Cinco de Mayo. And then there's an ice hockey game. So everyone knows, so Texas is crazy for sport. The Dallas Stars ice hockey match is on. It's the seven game decider. So the seventh game against Vegas Golden Knights. So everything's on the line. So Cinco de Mayo, Mexican food, Rock and Brews, an eating challenge and ice hockey. Let's do this guys, it's gonna be a good day. I don't think we could have asked for a better day blue skies, the clouds were shielding the sun so it wasn't too hot, no traffic on the road. I'm looking forward to this evening. All right guys, we've arrived. We're at Rock and Brews in the colony. It's Cinco de Mayo. Let's go smash some Mexican food and watch some ice hockey. It's gonna be a good one guys, let's go inside. This was definitely the calm before the storm. Right now, the restaurant's so peaceful and gearing up for a crazy food challenge. And these guys definitely weren't mucking around. Those nachos were loaded. Then they added some fried jalapenos and quesadillas. And of course, it wouldn't be Cinco de Mayo without tacos. So they added one of every taco on the menu. And then in true American fashion, French fries and a burger. What a feast. Man, I love Cinco de Mayo. Of course, this meal definitely wouldn't be complete without pictures of their virgin margaritas. Hey guys, today we've come to the colony. I'm at Rock and Brews. It's Cinco de Mayo, so I've got a J Webby portion size tray. It's 10 pounds of Mexican food. I'm gonna smash it, guys. The game starts in about 20 minutes, so I've gotta hurry up. I've got a crowd of people. Can't make a mess. Let's eat, guys. All right, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah! Three, two, one, let's eat. By the way, Mexicans, do whatever you want. As you can see, this place started getting really rowdy and I was looking forward to it. Started with the burger and I got this down within the first minute. I don't think the crowd could believe it, but I was really feeding off their energy. Now it was time for the quesadillas. Mm. This one's good. And these were going down a tree. That dipping sauce was amazing. Two minutes in and this crowd was unreal. I was having so much fun. A few massive mouthfuls of the citrus virgin margarita and it's time for the nachos. I knew these things were gonna be tough. There were so many tortilla chips and they were so loaded. 
But you guys know, I love my nachos. I was definitely making my way through this mountain of delicious nachos in good time. But I realized once I finished all the cheesy loaded parts, it was gonna be really fidgety to finish the individual tortilla chips. See, I told you these guys were crazy. Someone was having a little too much fun. But five minutes in and we're putting in work. These nachos are almost finished. I really didn't want to chug that but the crowd G'd me up, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, you guys are a bad influence. <laughs> it was actually so delicious, but man, I'm having so much fun. The crowd's giving great energy, and the food's so good. Time to get the last of these tortilla chips down. I can't wait to get into these tacos. I managed to clean up most of the melted cheese on the tray as well, so leaving no doubt. And then I uncovered the pile of the fried jalapenos, Time to smash them, two at a time. Paired with the dipping sauce, they were delicious. The moment I've been waiting for, these tacos. Let's go. Approaching the 10 minute mark, and this was definitely going to be my favorite part of the challenge. Man, I love tacos. Beef, shrimp, and chicken. Can you go wrong? This virgin margarita was great. It was really tropical flavored. I was really enjoying it. All right, tacos complete. Let's finish off these french fries. 13 and a half minutes down and I'm almost finished. I can see the end of the line. The fries are dusted. Now it's time to chug this virgin margarita. Gotta give the people what they want. Happy Cinco de Mayo. 
All right, there you have it, guys. 10 pounds of Mexican food, two pitchers of virgin margarita, rock and brews celebrating Cinco de Mayo, 15 minutes and some change until we eat again. Yeah. Oh.